Today we are welcoming Dahlia Moth on our show. Hi everyone. <laughs> nice. Hello everybody. Hi, I am Paul and welcome to our beautiful guest, Dahlia. Hello, hi. On December 11th, 2023, a new YouTube channel called Amanda Bynes and Paul Siminski, the podcast, dropped their first episode with guest Dahlia Moth, who is a tattoo artist and model. In the aftermath of this episode, a flurry of online rumors started surrounding Amanda's mysterious co-host, Paul, and the podcast never returned. Dun, dun, dun! So what happened with the podcast? Will it ever return? And what happened to Paul after all of this? Let's find out. First, let's briefly go over how Amanda Bynes got to make a podcast in the first place. After she officially retired from acting in 2010 after the release of Easy A, Amanda's personal life became a spectacle of sorts. A DUI, multiple hit and runs, setting a driveway on fire, starting a music career, shoplifting, getting kicked out of hotels from partying too hard. In 2022, she was finally released from a nine-year conservatorship in which her parents had control of her life and financial decisions. People were elated to hear this news and excited about what she was going to be up to next now that she had freedom. Unfortunately, there was another big whoopsie in 2023 when she found herself wandering the streets of LA naked on St. Patrick's Day. A fan even found her and got this strange video. Amanda, say what's up. What's up? We just walked in the streets of Hollywood. It's St. Patrick's Day. I saw my girl walking, so I said I had to say what's up. <laughs> Shortly after this incident, she was placed on a psychiatric hold for 72 hours, and later that year, she announced a new podcast. Me and Paul Siminski are working on a podcast. Um, it's super impressive that Paul is going to be a part of it because he's a scientist and a biochemist. But I'm sorry, who who is she doing this with? Paul Siminski. Who is that? We'll get to that in a little bit. Dun dun dun! When the episode dropped, it immediately sparked a conversation online. People noticed Amanda was being very quiet during most of the podcast. Maybe she just didn't know what she should say or add to the conversation, but hey, there's always a learning curve when you start something new. Maybe she'll get better. I am going to take a pause on it for now. We are not able to get the type of guests that I'd like on the show, like say Jack Harlow or Drake or Post Malone. Days after the first episode dropped, she stopped doing the show because she can't get Drake on. That's uncomfortable for reasons. Well, maybe another time she'll return with a new podcast. Well, the podcast guest gates of heaven have opened oh. because we have found our next guest for oh, the wait. episode on Friday. That's great. And, and she's going to interview this guy, Nick Mendez, from Flight Club. Awesome. So we're back. Oh, well. That's, that's awkward. Well, that's great that Amanda's going to pursue a manicurist license. It seems like now that she has the freedom from her conservatorship, she's really trying on some different hats. If you didn't know this already, Amanda actually got her associate's degree in fashion and merchandising from FITM in 2019. After that, she claimed she was going to continue her education to get her bachelor's, but I don't think she's pursuing that anymore. Since then, she decided to do this podcast, which had a lot of visibility, but it seems ultimately she's just changed her mind and now wants to become a manicurist, which she is apparently still pursuing even though she failed to get her license the first time around. That's okay, Amanda. Keep pushing forward. Unfortunately, the podcast was just a blip on the radar and she's still trying to figure out what she wants to do next. What about Paul? Who? Paul Siminski. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. What What about him? Listen, we need to get this out there. The guy that Amanda has made this podcast with is not a scientist. He's claiming to her that he's a scientist. Oh, yikes. And he sacrificed my dog's life, unalived him. Okay, is this true? Is Paul really not a scientist? Well, I guess he's at least a researcher. The best I could find were five publications that he was associated with at UCLA and he was in the program for chemistry and biochemistry. As for the dog sacrificing allegations, well, I guess we'll never know how valid this is because the person who posted the original video has deleted it and also her IG is private. Hard to say if she just couldn't verify her accusations or was just getting too much attention for it and it freaked her out. There's just not much to go off of here. So if it is true that he sacrificed a dog, then that is reprehensible behavior. However, it does appear he technically is a scientist or a researcher or whatever. And that's basically it if you didn't already know the story. Unfortunately, the truth behind this extremely hard to watch first and only episode of Amanda's podcast was just that hard to watch. Who knows what could have been if they had kept it going, but Amanda clearly needs some time to explore her interests and find something stable for herself, and we can't hate that. So what do you think? Did you like this episode of her podcast? Would you watch more if you could? 
Let me know in the comments if you like this video. Please give me a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I really have been appreciating all the love I've been getting on my videos recently. It means the world to me. I am working on a couple of bigger videos, so I might not be back immediately with a new video next week, but at least a couple weeks from now, I'll have some real serious heat to drop for you guys. Love you and see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.